that's you all the scuba divers and hopefully future scuba divers out there my name is Jan I'm a scuba instructor and you're on my channel <laughs> Give it a good thumbs up. The dive site I'm going to show you guys today is called Crystal Rock. Now Crystal Rock is very close to Castle Rock. So you probably, if you're going to dive Castle Rock, you're going to dive Crystal Rock and vice versa. So if you look at the dive map, um, Crystal Rock is virtually all behind, below the surface. Very similar to Castle Rock, except for the very big pinnacle that just, just touches the surface, depending on the tide, of course. And of course, um, below the pinnacle, it's a bit of a flat area all the way around and then it drops off um, um, with a gentle slope all the way around again. Again, almost like an upside down cupcake. But then on the right hand side, there's sort of an area that goes down to about 20, 25 meters, I think, at its deepest. And then it goes up to another second pinnacle, which the top of that pinnacle is between 13 and 15 meters, depending on the tide, of course. And say, for instance, on this example that I'm going to show you now, if the current's coming from the right hand side, the deeper pinnacle, because that is where you want to jump in. Now, again, you're going to go a little bit further than the pinnacle itself and then do a negative entry to make your way down. But you don't have to rush too much here to make you down to a sloping reef. Behind this deeper pinnacle, it's quite easy to find shelter behind the pinnacle. And there it's really beautiful. Lots of coral, a lot of fish to see. And then um, depending whether you're the first group or not, because there's not a lot of space above this pinnacle, you might go on the side a little bit or to the top and use your reef hook. But be very careful over here. There's not too much exposed rock. So if there's already a group there, most likely you won't be um, able to find exposed rock here. And I've seen some more experienced divers that actually jump a little bit further from this deeper pinnacle and then dive around there. But we stay normally at the spinnacle, hook up if we can, and then once again, um, just you know, watch the sharks for a little bit. Normally, some white tip reef sharks that go back and forth, and in the blue, very often that we see um, grey reef sharks. So once you've spent some time there, make sure you've got enough air to make it all the way back for your safety stop. Of course, you can go over this um, channel, the reach area. There's um, quite a lot to see here. And then as you approach the main pinnacle area, that's where it gets really beautiful. A lot of fish obviously over here. A lot of banner fish, beautiful coral all the way around. And if you come in on the front end, there's a big table coral a little bit deeper. There's normally that you can find quite a lot of sweet lips over here and uh, midnight snappers, unicorn fish. Really, really beautiful. And then the boulders there is just absolutely covered in soft coral. Really, truly beautiful. And then, of course, you're going to go a little bit further and go up behind that pinnacle. Now, this one is very easy to do your safety stop. Behind the pinnacle is also a bit of a flat area that you can easily swim around, just relax if there was quite a strong current at this site. You know, just look around there, spend the last few minutes of your dive there. And then you can safely and very easily just go up to five meters to do your safety stop because um, it's quite easy to find shelter behind this pinnacle. But that is if there was current. And again, if you're lucky enough to jump there over here during slack, high or slack, low tide, this is a truly, a truly, this is not really, shouldn't be called crystal rock. It's more like a crystal palace because it's, it's just like an underwater sanctuary, just fish everywhere it's truly incredible the sharks everywhere napoleon you'll see benefits huge schools of um, surgeon fish swimming around and you get the big giant trevallis lurking in between them behind the pinnacle you might get the, the big eye jack fish swimming around there really a lot to see there and then you can of course take your time to look for all the macro life because on this dive side too that you can find um pygmy seahorses so yeah not a too difficult dive side just pay attention if there's strong current listen to your guide follow his lead and you'll enjoy it but let's go see what it looks like underwater welcome to my world
So that was Crystal Rock. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video because this is really it's an enjoyable dive. It's really it's I've never ever had and not not fun at this dive site. There's just always a lot of fish, whether this um, current or not. But of course, during slack dive, there just tends to be a lot more fish over here. But um, anyway, that's it for Crystal Rock, guys. If you like the videos, I would appreciate if you give it a thumbs up with a bit of support. And don't forget to share this video with your dive buddies. Until next time, take care. Seems like I have to start over. Jet noise. Ugh.